we have here? <laughs> this is a French toast pretzel and it's stuffed with some delicious concoction and it comes with a maple syrup. So let's just open this bugger up and see what we have here. It's kind of hard to do standing up, but. Oh. My good lord. This is worth $7.59. Totally worth the price, huh? Oh my god, yeah. Okay. Describe the flavors. What are we tasting? I'm trying to figure out what the gel is. It's like a cinnamon. Like a cinnamon jelly kind of on the inside. And the pretzel, you wouldn't really, I mean, you can kind of taste the texture of a pretzel, but you can't really sense that it would be a legit pretzel. It's more like a French toast stick. Sure. Your turn. Recommended? Yeah. All right, we also just got off Slinky Dog Dash. Katie, thoughts? It was super cute. That first big drop that you go down, it was like, yeah, you said it was gonna be intense, and I was like, mmm. More intense than is, you think. This is a kid's ride. It's gonna be, it was intense. It's intense. Yeah, it was good though. I liked it a lot. Cool. Where would you rank it amongst other roller coasters here? Top, bottom, middle? I mean, it's a mid row. Mid row? Yeah. Yeah. I'm probably about the same. I think it's fine. I just, it's crazy how long people are waiting for that ride. But uh, kind of when you're here in the morning, that's what you do. And also, we were able, thanks to Katie, to secure another boarding pass for Rise of the Resistance. So we're going to give it another shot. I know I haven't given my full thoughts yet. I want to ride it again, really soak it up, and who knows, maybe you guys will be able to uh, come along with us a little bit. Mm -hmm. We're riding back to the room now, <laughs> and and this is what it looks like when you go in, you go in hard in Disney. Yeah. This is it. It's half one nappy time. <laughs> <laughs> Eight thirty in the morning, and it's like it's time for a little bit of a break. Just ahead and to the right is Disney's Art of Animation Resort, a larger-than-life resort that celebrates the creative magic that goes into crafting Disney animated films. Are we complaining? No, of course not. We're gonna go ride Rise of the Resistance later. Are we tired? Definitely. Definitely. That's why midday breaks and breaks whenever you can get, especially if you're on one of the Skyliner resorts, we is are now real nice. We're riding over the sparkling waters of Hourglass Lake. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the most magical flight on Earth. You know, to be honest, I don't know if I need as many updates as they give us sometimes. Like, it's kind of a little much. Uh, be nice little music in here, maybe. I don't know. It's just like. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now. We're here at the boathouse now. Katie and I got the same thing. Peel and eat shrimp with some fries. Then we've got the Andouille mac and cheese. It's like swordfish. Oh, it probably looks so good. This looks so good. He's been waiting for swordfish for so long. Just get a little piece, a little, a little starter taste. Delicious. See that? That's like a steak. It's like a steak. Different yeah. color. Alright, we can go home now. <laughs> How's it? Is it good? How's the fishiness factor? There isn't really a fishiness. Not really fishy? Okay. Sure. Cool. Consistency and everything. Not sweet. Almost chickenish. Chickenish. Oh, cool. But better. Good. Good. <laughs> well, I'd film us eating, but uh, it's going to be much um, messier, I think. So yeah. maybe nobody needs to see that. So <laughs> we get after that. Jones. 
Yeah. Remember the beginning of um, Raiders Lost Ark? He says, Jock! Start the plane, Jock! There's a snake in here! They talked about this on the tour video too. It was That's interesting. Cool. I mean, if we had a, another week here, we might start doing some more dining over here. Yeah, it's cool. Do you like the boathouse? The boathouse is excellent. The swordfish, everything I expected, and then some. Good. I could have eaten another one. <laughs> uh, I'll be back one day. It was yeah. great. You don't get swordfish anywhere or everywhere. That's true. It's uh, an especially good swordfish. That's true. Yeah, well, I had the peel and eat shrimp, and it was delicious. It was so good. It was the best peel and eat shrimp I've ever work, had. But would you say worth it? Yeah, it was worth it. You burn more calories eating peel and eat shrimp, <laughs> right? No, yeah, I suppose. Then eat. No, and there's butter and cocktail sauce. <sighs> it was so good. Needless to say, we've been spoiled as far as meals go on yeah. this trip. Yeah. Yeah. Indubitably. Takumite. Ah, Disney Springs. You're so pretty. I've heard at night you're even prettier, but this is so cool. It doesn't do it justice on the picture, everybody watching. It's so clear and looks so inviting. I kind of wish it was like a hot spring to actually go sit in, but look at all these places to eat around here and like on the water. It's very nice. This is like a, a perfect date spot, like, or just like, living spot. <laughs> true, and again, thousands of dollars worth of change in that water. Thousands of dollars worth of change in that water. Not as bad as Small World, but yeah, still, Still plenty in Still there. Plenty. Pays Still for the maintenance. <laughs> Pays for the maintenance, exactly. Millennium Falcon and this is a wall and once again the Millennium Falcon Joe's right it's the biggest hunk of junk in the galaxy and yet here on earth we idolize it I wonder why I wonder why the pod. What? there's a pod Run diagnostics on all primary systems. Okay, we're gonna get this hunk of junk in the air. Oh, they're fireworks, that's cool. This set's pretty average. All right, proceed. <laughs> hello, hello, my friends. I am Pongo Omaka, and this is Omaka Transport Solutions. Today, I am offering the opportunity of a lifetime. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, and gunners to defend the shipments. And that is where you come in. Yeah. <laughs> 
Today's flight takes you to the planet Corellia. You will be intercepting a first order trade shipment of coaxial gunners. You clear the path. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you are good that precious cargo. Now get the move on and know that I have complete faith in you. But I am coming along with you just in case. Scary. When do I get my blaster just in case we get cut? Okay, well, you know, we just gotta wait a little bit. So. For your safety, you. remain seated and supervise younglings. Por favor. Right here. Levers left and right. But you don't even need to see that. Oh. Do you need to take it back? <laughs> yeah. Pilots pull on your yellow straps. Gunners pull on your yellow straps. Bad enough. All right. Funny. Kick work, Jimmy. She said forward was down, pull back is up, right? Or is it the other? The we, do? we just follow oh, whatever is. Joe, you have to, have to hit, the, yep, hit the button. There we go, thank you. Engineers, sure, we automatic can. repair engage. Somebody get the wind back. Okay, everybody hold on. Right pilot, push the flashing button to there take off. Reverse power by the to the left. Move your stick to fly right and left. I was just about to say that. Pilot on the right, pull back on the stick to fly out and push forward to fly out. Weapons are online. <laughs> Left pilot in the boosters. All right. Let's go get that coaxia out. Right pilot, wave the jump to light speed. All right, guys, everybody hold on. Here we go. Yes, Chewie will pilot us in remote. Yes! Yeah! 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 Yeah
Nice. This would greatly help the resistance. Okay. You have heard the first order and made Chewie proud. Alright, let's look at our score here, Modest button. profit, your cut, minus what you owe me for managing the Falcon is... Hey, not what bad. Think? What do you that think? That was Joe, I think. No. Pretty good. What are the boosts? Oh. You okay? Yeah, yeah that was fun. Drank that. Yeah. Smuggler's Run, what'd you think? Smuggler's Run, uh, the most amazing pirate ride I've ever been on. Yeah. You are immersed in that, like totally. You start to forget. They're, they've got you flipping switches and saving the ship and stuff like that. If you don't flip that switch, you're screwed. Yep. But then they have you working with a team of six in this cockpit. The Millennium Falcon, pretty cool. And uh, two pilots, two gunners, and two engineers. Blast. An absolute blast. Yeah. You got a little, it's almost like a giant video game, like what video games may be like one day. Yeah. That's my hope too, and I actually had way more fun. Uh, you know, this time was really good, and I think I did better as the right pilot, the up and down. And uh, it was, um, you know, it was like 47% still. <laughs> it's better than the 28% that we did the last time with yeah, well, people I'd never met and before. Thinking back to it, it's like, like down this way, going left and right, easy peasy, right? But yeah, I kept going left because I wanted to fine tune our flight path and get right behind the train, uh, the whatever you're chasing. <laughs> and uh, the second I go left, it's like I go too far. I gotta go back right. So I kept snaking an S's. He did okay though. Yeah. Katie's but checking it, out the drive. It's not super responsive. Not super responsive, but we talked about this probably better for like kids who are actually gonna do this sort of thing. And you know, they're not gonna maybe be as, um, they might be more aggressive. So it's not the controls are gonna be sticky or it'll kind of overcorrect for you. I'm not sure, I'll tell Joe, I wonder if it's kind of like there's three or maybe five spots they put the camera in as far as left and right goes. So it's just kind of like you hit to the right and it puts you in that next spot and then the next spot and then the next spot. There's a certain amount of automation involved, otherwise we would have hit a lot more stuff. Yeah. Or, yeah. Exactly, even at the end, there's you, know, you think it's done, but it's not. All right, to the back. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, at first I was like, oh, is it over already? And then it, we kept going and chasing another item down. It was cool. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it was great. I enjoyed it. it. And it's not making you sick either for something of that nature. No, not at all. No, it was really nice. I actually think this makes me way less sick than most of these simulation rides do. So yeah, yeah. I enjoy it for that alone. Much less vomit inducing than Avatar was. Oh boy. Yeah. Uh, I went on Avatar twice last night, tasted my dinner three times. Perfect. Perfect.